Hello, my name is Ramon Kodai and welcome to the newest episode of Insights from an Autistic. I am Ramon Kodai, a, a high-functioning autistic adult, and in today's um, video we're going to be discussing a potential cure for autism. Now, researchers at the Albert Einstein um, College, I believe it is, they believe that they have stumbled upon an idea that can lead to a cure for autism. A couple of years ago, there was a, a there's been research going on for some years, but the study was revealed that showed about, if I remember correctly, about 30% of autistic individuals showed um, extreme improvement, uh, like almost like they completely were not autistic while they had a fever. And then about 80% of um, individuals of autism showed that they had no or that they had a lot of the autistic tendencies regressed. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that they believe that if, the, that if a fever triggers this, then that, that means that the brain has to be dysregulated. In other words, that the brain, that, there's, that it's not messed up necessarily, it's just that the way that the brain is regulated, the, it is, just needs to be fixed. So uh, unlike, like, a, like, a, like say you get a brain tumor or something that messes up your, your cognitive senses or whatever, this is not something. It's not you, the brain of an autistic is not damaged. Is what they're what they're saying. And that if it's not damaged, therefore it can be fixed. And so they now now this uh, what this is called is like the LCNA. I, I don't even know what it. Well, I, I kind of know what it stands for, but it's, I don't want to pronounce it. But um, so what they are saying though is that they're not suggesting a fever therapy to cause a cure. You know, it could be very dangerous. What they're saying, but they're thinking that they can find a drug. Now, in my opinion, what does this mean? Is a cure possible? Potentially, you know, before this research came out, you know, I've been thinking a cure is not possible, but I believe it is. I've also heard in regards to fever that also a lot of, um, like people with cancer, um, I'm not 100% sure about this, so, so don't take this as 100% fact. Find out for yourself. But people with cancer also showed improvement, like the cancer would disappear when they had a fever, um, among many other a lot of times when people are sick they get a fever and that actually heals you, you know, you feel terrible you have the fever, but that's a, the body's way of healing itself. So, um, it's the most intriguifying uh, thought. Now, if there was a cure for autism though, I tell you this much, I would not cure myself, I would not take whatever drugs or whatever to, to cure it. I, I know that I could become more like everyone else, but would I want that? No, you know, I'm pretty happy with who I am, you know, like I said before, if I had a choice to be born, Normal or autistic, I'd choose to be normal. So, if this is something that you want for your child, then then there you go. You know that this could be become a potential option, say five or ten years. So anyway, I just want to let you know about this uh, research um, that is going on. So thank you for watching this video and have a most awesome day. Thank you.